Louisiana Beer Reviews, here we are at, what, 8.15 a.m. It's very overcast. It's not too hot right now. The air conditioner is running, though. Volcan Santorini Blonde. Okay. Yeah, there's the sirens. A product of Greece. They use citrus medica, malted wheat, and Santorini honey from the island of Santorini, where this beer comes from. Vulcan. Volcano. This Pilsner beer. Okay. Gets no score in Beer Advocate because they only have like three reviews. Beer, uh, Rape Beer has more. I don't remember the number, but they only give it in a 20 out of 100 and a 23 out of 100 for the style. Stuart Picard did the first video review and the only one so far of this beer in the world. And he liked it. So I'm going to comment on his video that of what I think about it. I've never had it. Trying to think where I bought this stuff. Oh, I remember now. I bought it in Baton Rouge at Cuban Liquor. It says for 2016. I don't know if that's born on or best by April 2016. I don't know. Don't like the way it was spilling. This 11.2 ounce bottle, 330 milliliters. So, Pilsner beer with wheat malt. Citrus Medica and wheat and honey added. All right. Okay, so it's a fruit beer. It's a flavored beer. They also make a white, which I've had, a black, and a brown. Citrus Medica is a fruit brought to Greece from Persia by the army of Alexander the Great. Lava rock filtered. Now it says use the essence of Citrus Medica. The essence. Okay. The New Orleans Essence Festival. Held every year. Sponsored by, you got it, Essence Magazine. Uh, in this very overcast environment here with high humidity, I can see that this beer is golden. I can see that it's highly unfiltered because there is chunks, there are chunks of wheat and yeast and fierce bubbles going through this thing. It's an oddball item. Oh yeah, he's got that. He's got that um, compressor over there and he's psh, 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 spraying concentrated air on things. But they don't always start that noise over there before 6 a.m. Starting late today, 8.15. Come on, guys, step up your game. We need some power equipment noise between 5 and 6 a.m. Um, they'll provide it, too, often. Honey, yep. Bready, yeasty, yep. Pungent. Fruit? Mm, maybe, a little. Little. Smells really good. Why does it get only a 20 out of 100 on rapier? I couldn't tell you. Haven't read the reviews yet. Think of bread. Honey bread. Honey wheat bread. Sara Lee. Honey top wheat bread. There we go. White wheat bread. If you're looking for uh, if you're looking for uh, a hoppy beer, don't look here. Okay, this is not gonna work. If you're looking for a mild, I need to get a new White Sox cap. This one is too old. If you're looking for a mild, uh, easygoing Greek Pilsner style. Lager beer that's not too expensive, that's got fruit essence and honey in it. This might be one for you. It's a cool looking label. And it's, it seems like a brighter green than your normal Euro green lager bottles. 20 out of 100? Uh, no, I don't think so. 
I don't believe where that score is coming from. I even see little tan yeast in the white head of foam. Sweetness with that extra sh sugar sweetness from the citrus medica, it's probably um, three out of five sugar cubes on Cyclops scale. Oh, I guess it's one out of five hop cones. Not bitter. Fairly crisp finish. Hey, I'll say A minus. It's at the, it's at the lower end of excellent, but there's no really negatives to it. And I'm probably coloring that with my general dislike of flavored beers and all that. But if I was going to drink a flavored beer, and I really wouldn't, but if I was going to, this would be one I'd recommend. They did a great job. Keep up the good work. Um, Volcan. I think the company's called, uh, it's not Vulcan though, it's some other company. But you might see it. So, Laissez Les Bon Temps Relay, an excellent beer. And I'm going to end this morning review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.